In this video, we'll show you how to render images using the 3D Changer Car Configurator. First, save your project to avoid losing your edits due to unexpected errors during the rendering process. To do this, go to the top menu, click the disk icon, select a new project slot, and then click the Save button. Then navigate to Camera in the bottom menu and select Photo from the menu on the left. Find the optimal photo angle, then go to the camera settings to adjust the zoom, aperture, arm length, roll, pitch, or yaw. For the dolly zoom effect, hold the shift key and use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. You can change the place where the focus lies. Switch from automatic to manual and use the help focus line to see where the focus will be. You can also activate the free camera movement which lets you move around without restrictions. Use the arrow keys or the A, S, D and W keys. If you want to preview your picture without menus, press the M key to hide them. Press the G key to enable or disable the photo grid. The mentioned shortcuts can be found in the top menu under Settings and Keyboard. Now, go to the Save As window. Here you can adjust the frame size and resolution, input a file name and select a folder for saving. Once you are satisfied with the camera position and settings, it's time to render the image. Click on the Take Shot button. After the rendering is complete, a preview of the image will appear. Click on the preview to open the saved folder. You can render more photorealistic images if you have a powerful graphics card that supports ray tracing. Integrated or low-end graphics cards do not support this feature. This feature is also not supported on macOS devices. To enable path tracing, go to Settings and Graphics, where you can adjust the path tracing quality. A higher number means better image quality, but longer rendering time. After adjusting the settings, hide the menu to reveal the red progress bar. Once the rendering is complete, save the picture by clicking the Take Shot button or hide the menu and take a screenshot. Using path tracing requires significant power, so you need a powerful graphics card like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 or a higher version. Also, avoid saving images at resolutions higher than 2K to prevent crashes. For more tips and inspiration, follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.